Howdy, Beaver Lombard here, and welcome back to this tutorial series. And let's go ahead and get a quick recap of what we got. We have Senor Kermit. We can pick him up, and in the last one we kind of had to hide things, change things around a little bit. Now if I hit number three key, it draws a pistol out and sets me into that animation. Hit three again, it deletes the gun completely and just goes back to the regular unarmed. Now if I go to the number one key, it equips the MP5. If I hit one key again, it gets rid of it, puts me back in the regular animations again. So, you know, we have a separate animation blueprint in Blood and Space just for that, and of course we still haven't done the jump yet. But to change weapons, we have a problem. If I want to go to the number three key, it doesn't effectively get rid of the other gun. So we're going to try to get a quick fix and work around on that. You know, if we manually equip and manually de-equip, it works fine. But that's not good enough. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off with your player underscore base, and we're going to come to where we have our custom events for spawning the pistols, spawning the uh, the MP5, and spawning the um, the actual uh, AK. So we're going to make copies of these, and we've already done this once before, and we're going to do it again. We're going to get all this right here, and this is for the Glock. Control C, Control V, and we're going to create a custom event. And we're going to call this custom event spawn, or well, let's just keep it short. G17 to holster. And I'll zoom in a little bit here. And we'll go ahead and we'll move this in place, get it looking good. Because, you know, looking good is important, right? And then we'll go ahead and throw a comment box around that. Doesn't really matter, but I just think it looks a little neater. And then we can do the same thing for the rest of them. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do that really quickly. Copy these. Control C, Control V, and why didn't you cover all of yourself? Cover your shame, man. All right, so again, custom event. We're going to call this one, since I'm not zoomed in enough, this is the MP5. MP, not PM, MP5 to back. Go ahead and link it together. Make it beautiful. Comment it. And then let's go ahead and make sure everything's inside the box. Because we gotta be beautiful. And we'll do the last one, which is the AK. And let's go ahead and copy these. And we're gonna create a custom event. And we'll call this one AKM2 back. So this will get us set up for the next part of it. And by creating these custom events, what we're doing is we're going to be able to make this look a lot more compact and it won't get super, super messy. It'll, you know, it'll be fine, I promise. AKM2 back. Now, we're going to have to go back in there and change the locations on these. So, since this one says to main hand, let's go ahead and put this to slot 2. We'll change the MP5 to slot 
1 and we'll change the pistol to holster and these are what I called my sockets on the actual skeleton okay next part here what we did was when you pressed the number three key it performed a flip-flop now you can do this on pressed or on released it doesn't really matter as soon as you press it it's gonna do it um, or as soon as you let go of it it'll do it it's entirely up to you they work okay either way the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this I'm going to get rid of the destroy actor and I'm going to bring in another mode or a node here and this is going to be detach if I can spell detach from component now I'm going to get this reference and then I'm going to go ahead and delete the mesh reference and then I'm going to link in the equip G17 to the target and I'm going to go ahead and try to get this a little bit neater here not going to be easy but I'll make it the best that I can so what that is is now a way to de-equip and it's going to remove it it's going to get rid of the pistol completely it's going to set you back into unarmed by reconnecting this so you'll change your animations and we want to spawn no we didn't call it that we called G17 to holster. So now what this will do is since it's already set up you know above as a, a, a custom event it's going to go ahead and respawn the pistol to the holster location and what we can do later on is where we had the um, this is our animation switch go back up to where we had the um, the pistol pickup and the stuff that we deleted before we can undelete it and in a different way we can actually so now when we actually pick it up what we'll do here is right click and we're going to add in G17 to holster so now as soon as we pick it up it will actually go ahead and put it in my holster later on when we get an inventory system going it'll actually spawn into my inventory then I'll have to manually drag it over if we decide to go that way so let's go ahead and test this see if I got any mistakes here and let's see what happens actually didn't we have another variable that we need to set has G17 is being set yeah I think that's gonna be fine so let's go ahead and give it a quick try so now whenever I walk over it alright we did forget one thing because it was trying to spawn 800 billion of them we forgot to add in the one little thing that'll stop it from doing that multi-spawn let's drag this out just a little bit more let's do this and we're gonna go ahead and add in the do once and let's drag this over a little bit clean it up and now it should be good to go because what was happening is whenever it spawned it to my hip it was trying to spawn continuously and it'll just run up the the number of actors so now it just spawned the one time we have 35 actors now if I hit the number three key okay well, we're gonna change it to where it gets rid of it off of the uh, the hip but okay we have a problem so let's take a look at it and see what we did here and we'll come back over here to the pistol
Okay, whenever we've... Oh, we didn't... Um, yeah, we kind of need to attach that. Been a long day. We'll do another quick test here and see if that fixed any of it. So it spawns it to our hip. It's the number three key. It equips it. Nice. And it puts it away and puts us back in the animation. So what we need to do now is tell it whenever we hit the three key and draw it from our hip, we need to get rid of it. So we'll go back in here and on this line right here where it's changing our animation and spawning it to our hand, we need to do the same thing that we did here. And in fact, I can just copy it. And we're going to make it ugly for now until we get in, in to reorganize how it looks. But we want to make sure it's functional first. Because, you know, we still have to look beautiful, but we also want to be functional. So this should detach from component the G17. In fact, no, we can't even place it here. We're going to need to actually move it to where it is in front of the spawn command because we want to spawn it after we've already gotten rid of it. So let's actually move it over here. We'll link from our equip boolean directly into the detach from component and then we'll spawn it in. All right. It's ugly, but let's test it out and see how it works. Go ahead and play. We'll grab it. Okay, it's on our hip. We draw it. It is no longer on our hip, and it is in our hands. We hit three again, and it's out of our hands, and back on our hip again. So it does work. Great. That's what we wanted. So just take a little second here to clean things up. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to have to do this for pretty much everything. And we're going to have to probably create another variable and get it to where it checks. Is there a, you know, it'll check for an item and it'll have to de-equip whatever that item is. so that we'll get our hands cleared and be able to put the new one in. So this is a good start to get us in the ballpark for where we need to be. So what we need to do now is essentially replicate all of this for each of the weapons so that we can make it work that way. And then we'll have to come back in and we'll set it up for if I have the, the pistol in my hands and I select the MP5, it needs to get rid of whatever's in my hand and then equip the MP5. So that's what we're going to do. And um, in the first, in this video right here, I just want to go ahead and cover this part of it so we get a more efficient switching and take some time. Go ahead and do this for all of them. And I'll walk through it one more time just so we uh, kind of get an idea of what it is. So we need to get rid of Destroy Actor. We need to detach from component. Get rid of the mesh reference. We need to you can't connect it this way, but you can connect it this way so that it is targeting the root component. So we'll connect that in. We will go ahead and do this. And then after we set our animation state, we did the item to holster. So this is the... Which one is it? This is the AK. So we need to come over here and do... AK M2 back. So now, this will actually, now when we hit the number three key again, it will spawn the AK to the back. 
And I'll worry about cleaning this up more later. But we definitely had to have that attached there. And we need to go ahead and get the a break between here. Let's move the spawn AKM to hand out of the way. We need to go ahead and let's copy these three items here. Link that together. Stop being a pain in the butt. And then now that we've got that linked, we can go ahead and sorry, I have to clean things up. Now we can do spawn it to the hand. And even though it'll bug me, I'll clean it up later. And again, same thing. We'll come in here and doesn't matter which order we do it in because it's all going to be beautiful and, and all going to start working greatly. Um, we'll go ahead and control V. We'll break this, move it out of the way, move these guys in. Go ahead and connect it up. And if you can hear any popping noises in the background, that's actually people using fireworks because it is Christmas Eve. And I am here doing this video for you guys. Because I have nothing else better to do with my time or life. <coughs> yeah. So, let's go ahead and move these down. We will destroy Actor. And since we're on the MP5, we need to go ahead and go ahead and delete these. I need to equip AK the MP5. We get a reference to that, and we'll drop it in there so we have it linked to the root component. And then we will spawn it to the hand. So, easy enough. We've got this, and then we'll connect that to here so we get our root component. And we can do that. Doesn't matter which side it's on, but we'll put it on this side to kind of make it, you know, a bit more symmetrical. So that's good enough and clean enough. And then we need to go ahead and do the MP5 to back. MP5 to back. So if that's all done and good to go, uh, we need to have our, okay, we got our unarmed. It just moves it to the other side. It shouldn't matter, but let's go ahead and compile, save, and actually we'll come back in over here and oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to drag these out of the way. So we can come back in here to where we did these. And I'll grab this do once. I'll copy you know, control C and control V. Go ahead and move that in place. And then since this is the MP5, we need to get MP5 again. And we're going to do that to back. And this is the AKM. So we'll do the same here. We'll just do AKM to back. Now, compile, save. Yeah, we're getting a lot of things stacked up in here. So when we go in here, 
I grab the pistol, it's on my hip now. MB5 goes to my back, AK goes to my back, go to my pistol, takes it off of my hip and puts it in my hands. Hit three again, it puts it back on my hip. It's kind of hard to see with all these guns in the way. And we're good to go. So we'll go ahead and do number two. So now we got the AK and let's go ahead and hit number two again. It put it back on my back. Okay, silly, but, and we're good to go. So that cleans up our weapon switching a little bit more, but the next thing we're going to work on, and I'll save that for the next video, is if I have the MP5 selected and I want to go to the pistol, it needs to tell it to put the pistol back in my holster and change the animations again. So I don't have to manually keep switching through things. You see, it's going to get glitchy and weird. So we'll work on that in the next video, but I thought it was nice that we could actually get it cleaner, equipping and putting it away, and de-equipping it, putting it back on our hip, or our back, wherever we got it from, a much cleaner switch. So, all right, I hope that was helpful for you, and look forward to seeing you in the next one, and thanks for watching. Have a great holidays.